Hello everyone, this is Marvel Lyra, she who bears the right of Prima Squeetide, bringing you episode 7 of my Let's Play with Better Than Wolves. Well, life has gone on a little bit here. It's morning at the moment. Um, and I've been collecting resources once again. Um, let's get rid of that spider. Mainly at this point what I'm looking to do is I am looking to build myself a windmill tower. I thought about going out and finding wolves in my world, but um, I, I decided I wanted to have a few more bones before I did that. Um, but here I have a good space for a windmill tower, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I kind of like to start my windmill towers from the inside out, if that makes any sense. Just kind of uh, figuring out the inside space before I build the structure. Let's put these away. And for that, I'm going to need some glass and some that, and we can get started. Now, the major feature of a windmill tower, at least at the beginning of things for me, is the area where um, the grinding will happen, where I'm going to put my millstone. And for that, I'm just going to clear out a little... Well, once I get the shovel here, I'm going to clear out a little space. And just kind of create an area where water will be here because when I have a windmill cook, cooked up to a millstone, um, it, it, I just want all the items to flow towards me. So let's take care of these two, and this is going to be just one deep to help keep the water contained. There, all pretty now. Um, and let's do this. Very nice. And just to give you an idea of how things look, I figure that uh, when we get uh, the windmill all put up together, the uh, um, millstone will go right there. Did I grab the glass? I did. Good. I'm just kind of gonna make an area of glass around here so that I can see my windmill. Damn you, cow, you make me misplace glass. Hate it when I misplace glass. Just for that. I'm low on steak anyway. Come here. Come here. Thank you. Alright. Back to windmill building. Should probably get up here before I can't anymore. And, uh, yeah, one more layer of glass. And we want to leave it open topped because eventually there will be gearboxes and axles coming down from the sky at this point here. Alright. Now we can probably start laying the uh, foundations for the exterior walls of our windmill tower here. And so, how much space do I want? I want one, two, three, let's. There. We'll call it there. And. I like circular buildings, if you can't tell, and uh, just kind of try and make something vaguely circular. One, two, three. I put three here. One, two, three, four. Ooh, I put extra there. Okay. Well then, it's going to be a nice base, and we'll we'll build it up here. So, one, two, three, four. That's where we're aiming for, and. There. That'll do. Yeah, that'll do. Probably don't want to be standing. One, two, three, four. Oh, and it'll give us a nice little alley between the windmill and the, and the farm. I need to move some of those back here. There. <laughs> and I misplaced the block. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Let's 
Okay. One more and then here we go. Then we'll have a door there. I don't think this building is even. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Well, at least it's even on the one side. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. So actually, if we just move that block back one and get rid of this two block nonsense. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Let's try that again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, again we can get rid of that two block nonsense. Oh, that's starting to look like a tower. And just because this is going to be a major structure of mine, I'll go ahead and put two layers of stone brick up. Assuming I have enough stone brick. Oh, what do I have left in here? Oh, and I don't have enough stone brick. Oh no! It's alright, I need to start building the walls anyway. So, I can see take a stack of cobble and start cooking that up and take all the wood I have here. So you will cook while I'm not looking. And here we'll get started. And get started with the floor first. Because I do like to do that in the different color wood. I figured this building will also eventually have multiple levels. It's sort of like the wheat farm next to it. Um, the only question will be uh, how many levels where, really. It's part of the reason why I'm making the area around um, the millstone so wide is I want to have room for stairs, basically. Or perhaps an elevator at some point. But uh, we'll get into elevators later. That'll be good to start. I don't think I have so much wood in the uh, birch color that it's going to make that much big of a difference. But we can at least get space for a door taken care of here. Oh, there it is. Alright, so let's get crazy with wood here. Start building up this tower. I like to have rooms, at least base rooms here, be as tall as the things that are going to be around it. So that is three high, and probably three is where I can start bringing this tower in to be a bit more of a uh, delicate tower as opposed to just going straight up to the sky. You'll see what I mean in just a moment here. do this a little bit awkwardly since I'm out of uh, <laughs> out of stone brick here and you I can get well actually you all gonna leave for now just because you'll be useful to me in a minute but you two I will get rid of and there we go all right now you, oh, I should have left those two there. Oh well. You is where I'm going to start bringing this in one. So 
sort of the same idea with the glass roof on the greenhouse, but uh, but really is uh, going to go up much higher. The uh, windmills ha are rather rather tall, so um, they need a lot of space to actually exist in. Um, I, however, am going to go to bed at the moment because it is getting dark, and I do not want to have to deal with skeletons trying to shoot me off of that thing. All right, I'll better. Let's get our dirt out here so we can have a way up. There we go. May have to come back later here and just kind of take out of all of these extra internal corners. Oh, and there I go falling. Actually, I can do it from this side, can't I? Yes. Yes, I am. Get it in. Ha ha. Well, I'll reach the end. <laughs> That's why. Oh, too far away. Nope, nope, nope. Mine, gimme. Alright, so let's get rid of these internal corners here. Correctly. Oh, my ex has died. I'll have to get a new one here in a little while. All right. All right, let's build this up a little bit more. Actually, now that I think about it, I probably want to leave at least the middle of these rows empty because I want to put windows in this level. Just some glass panes. Um, so, one... Let me look back here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. Okay, so let's clear out the middle five of these windows. Oh, and there goes the wood. count easier that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like a lot of the same size of windows on either side of the uh, of our uh, little windmill house here. Oh, well, gotta be careful about that tree, huh? This one's going to be slightly bigger, but yeah. Alright, let's go down here and uh, get ourselves some glass panes so that we can build it up as we go. I know there's a piece of wood around here somewhere. There it is. Let's see if our uh, bricks are uh, taken care of. It's at least mostly there. Now, I'm out of glass here, so let's take the stone out because I have enough here and start cooking up some glass. I'll craft some stone bricks while we're here. 
There, that'll do. And there. There, all enclosed now. Let's just put down a torch here, just for, just for uh, safety's sake. And where did those paints go? There they went. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. And that's all we can do for now. So let's keep building while we wait for that glass to cook. And with here, we're going to just have the end here. We're going to have an especially big window on this side. So there and then there. This is basically the pattern we'll be continuing around here. I do love how you can just walk on the edge of glass panes. That's just so very useful. Maybe we won't put one on here just so that. And as you can see, the wheat's growing. That's about was all I can do while I wait some, for some resources, so um, I will be back in a little while, guys, and uh, you can see what progress I've made. Hey guys, I just went down to check on the hemp plants while I was waiting for some more glass to grow, and um, they're growing. Let's try this out for the first time. Yay! Look at that! Oh, that's so easy. That's so easy, and you don't even have to worry about accidentally hitting the bottom of your plants. Alright guys, back to it. I'll be back. So, pretty impressive looking so far, isn't it? Yeah? Well, it's getting there as far as height's concerned. Um, may want to take it in another layer here, um, just to make sure that the windmill has enough room, but uh, I think we're getting pretty close. Now, I'm going to be leaving the top of it open for now, just until I can get um, a better idea of how many gearboxes and axles are needed. So, um, the best way to do that is to just start building the gearboxes and axles and putting them in place and see what we need. Now for that we're going to need some um, hemp fiber and some gill... Oh, <laughs> forgive my verbal mess up guys. Some hemp fiber and some gears. Now in order to make gears you'll need some wood planks and some sticks. And you just put them around a circle, around a piece of block, and you have some gears. Now, to make an axle, you need rope. Six hemp fibers, up and down like this. Or, I believe, sideways. No, just up and down? Alright. Just up and down like this will make rope. And if you put rope between two pieces of wood, that'll get you some axles. Gearboxes are also made with redstone gearboxes. I probably need more gear more gears here. Let's see if I can remember off the top of my head here. Yes, that is how you make a gearbox. Alright guys, I am going to uh, be messing with my hemp farm off camera and uh, trying to get some more hemp fibers to make all these gear boxes and axles and um, I'll be back once I'm ready to put start putting some together. Hey guys, I was just uh, pulling this hand crank here trying to grind up some uh, hemp fiber when I realized uh, um, there was something I hadn't told you guys about yet and that's what I have in my little hand here and that's donuts. Donuts you can make in the stewing pot with uh, flour that you grind up in the millstone. Um, and uh, they'll only heal one bar hunger. They don't satisfy anything. They're just little bits of junk food. Um, but uh, they, I find them really useful for times like this when I'm standing at the hand crank. Just uh, um, pulling away. They just gotta keep eating them. There we go. 
bell. Yeah, that's all. Alright, guys, I'll be back in a little while. Alright, guys, um, I, it's going to be a long wait, I'm realizing here, till I have enough, uh, hemp fiber and gearboxes to be able to do this properly, but I can at least show you how it's going to go. So, again, imagine this dirt block here is our windmill. We need to connect it to, not our windmill, our millstone. Oh, geez, I'm messing up all over the place today. But if it's our millstone, we need to connect it to our windmill, which will be up there by a series of gearboxes and axles. Now, um, there's a couple of special rules with gearboxes and axles. The first one with axles is that you can only put three of them in a row before you need to put a gearbox there. Um, axles themselves do not provide mechanical power, um, but uh, the gearboxes are the transfers for mechanical power. Now here's a gearbox. Now you see this um, side has all the arrows on it. Um, if you look if we could look at the moment on the side that um, doesn't, uh, that's connected to the axles, it would be red here too, but it wouldn't have the little arrows. What the arrows mean is that this is the side of the gearbox that you have to feed mechanical power into. Since our windmill will be up there, this is the way we want our gearboxes to be facing. We just will continue this pattern, and pattern until we get to the height we want. Um, the uh, two neat things about gearboxes and axles is that you can um, uh, reorient them with just right clicking on them with a hand. Just turn them all sorts of different ways. And see, this one has the red face but no arrows like I was saying. We just keep doing that until it's back where we wanted. Alright guys, I think this is a good wrapping up point for today. Um, it's going to be a bit of a grind waiting for all that hemp to grow. So I probably ought to think of a different project to keep you guys occupied while I um, slowly put the windmill together. Um, a hunt for wolves wouldn't be amiss. Um, perhaps a barn for the ca barn for the cows wouldn't be bad either. Um, let me know what you think, um, and I'll start putting something together. This is Marvelire out. I'll talk to you later.